Yeah, I think difficult's the right word. I definitely, you know, I've spoken to people who've been inside the meeting kind of from both sides, if you like, and one side said it's, it was progressive and uh, certainly gave them room to think, and the other side said it was challenging and emotional. I think the problem was the emotion in the room, or at least on the virtual room, because, of course, this was con conducted over Zoom, and you had people in the room who've been there, you know, for over 16, 17 years, uh, campaigning for the ownership of Manchester United, campaigning against the Glazer family, who finally got to look Joel Glazer in the eye and raise their points. I think there were forceful questions. I think he made an opening statement and he's also, you know, made plans to, to really build a relationship with Manchester United supporters. I think we'll know a little bit more as the dust settles, but the kind of big takeaways from a, a meeting that was scheduled to last two hours and lasted more than two and a quarter hours is that uh, Joel Glazer and the Glazer family have committed to a share ownership scheme and uh, investigating how to go about that and almost established the largest uh, share ownership sc scheme involving a football club and its fans in the world. I mean, it's very fanciful and it's very impressive sounding words. I think the, the, the nuts and bolts of that are something that's worth looking at, but certainly they've committed to that. They've committed to a new fans advisory board and I think what that'll do is also build on the work of the fans forum. This was the kind of forum by which Joel Glazer was talking to the fans today, representatives from all parts of the uh, supporter base asking questions. They're going to build on that with this fans advisory board. He's committed to greater spending on Old Trafford in terms of the infrastructure. We all know those kind of famous shots of the, the rain seeping through the windows and uh, the roof of the Stretford End. He's going to put a stop to that. He's pledged to invest in the infrastructure, not only at the, the football uh, stadium, but also at the training ground at Carrington. And he's also uh, said that he will invest and the Grazer family will invest, as they have done, I've got to say, over the past summers in transfers this summer. So I think, you know, he has come up with some impressive words. He has come up with some impressive answers. I, I, I think what one side would like to say, and that's the Manchester United side, is this is the very first steps in a new dialogue, a new negotiation, a new relationship between a Manchester United uh, board uh, and its supporters. And I think, you know, there was an admission in the meeting by Joe Glazer himself that the voice that they left for not speaking for 16 years. Remember, the last time we heard from a member of the Glazer family was on the very first day they arrived at Old Trafford. Since then, there's been silence. He's admitted that was a mistake. I think we need to hear from the other side of things. We need to hear from the Manchester United supporters.